what is up guys welcome back to ai on crypto today we're making a very important video about the Illuvium land sale which is happening tomorrow all right guys this video is to help you be prepared so that you're ready to take advantage of the dutch auction and if that Illuvium land that you've been eyeing drops to a price that's in your range you want to be ready to go ahead and pull that trigger that's what this video is about because of the land sales tomorrow we're definitely going to try to get a couple of plots here on this channel and we want to help you get to your plot as well so get ready we're going to talk about this on the video right now this is ai on crypto on this channel we talk about cryptocurrency prices and trends altcoin gems and all the things on the blockchain that fill our bags to the max and we stay far away from rec city we make daily cryptocurrency content covering nfts planner and blockchain gaming DeFi metaverse and more so if you're looking for that kind of content please subscribe to the channel tap that little bell up in the top corner and welcome to the community now before we go forward obviously this is not financial advice do your own research all this stuff is super super uh risky now guys i do want to give a shout out to a youtuber by the name of Scoriax. He's got a little under 4,000 subscribers, but all of his content is Alluvium based. That's why I'm giving him a shout out because this is an Alluvium video and he is a 100% Alluvium dedicated content creator on YouTube and I have come to trust his videos. So actually a lot of what I'm bringing you on uh, on this video here today is an extension of what I watched on his video. So check him out, Scoriax. Now, I am going to use some links uh, to kind of walk you through some of the stuff about this land sale. First, we're going to talk about Alluvium Zero. What exactly is it? Then I'm going to show you what you need to know in order to get ready to make those purchases. All right, guys, and I am going to put those links in the description of this video so that you do have easy access to them. So what is Alluvium Zero? First of all, it is a land plot. It is a town kind of building game where you get a piece of land from the Illuvium Zero ecosystem. And the purpose of these lands is to generate resources. The resources generated on this land is going to be required for players to fully play the Illuvium video game. And they are going to have to buy these resources from the land over owners with Ethereum. So you're literally going to be able to sell the resources mined on your land for precious ethereum and that's why a lot of people are really excited about this land sale tomorrow because i think that it's going to actually start producing these resources very soon after uh the land sale they already have released the beta of early alluvium gameplay i think that they are the closest triple a game when it comes to being ready for that initial uh launch but um what we really have to focus on though is the land sell which is tomorrow that's right in front of us could be a big big opportunity let me tell you why right now sentiment is at a short term i would say at a medium term low for playing and blockchain gaming playing and blockchain gaming is so new that it's hard to have any real comparisons and we we just very recently had a huge spike in interest so from the spike that we had let's just say at the beginning of 2021 when Axie Infinity had its first big run the ILV token went up to 50, almost 2,000 a token um there was a lot of interest but since that time the reward tokens for all for the very few amount of games that have been released so far have not been able to maintain its value and sentiment is really down right now on planner and blockchain gaming now, if you've been following this channel for a long time, you know that we are super bullish on Planner and Blockchain Gaming. I fully believe it is going to be a big part of the future of humankind. I think it's going to literally provide a new form of, of uh, providing income for a person and their family. Now, that there's going to be a broad spectrum of Planner and Gamers. It's still going to have that element of people that just uh play passively for fun they're not uh paying their rent with the game but they really like the game and they're choosing to play a planner and blockchain game because at the end of the year they will have uh they'll, they'll have a little something for their time in the form of nfts or in-game currency stuff like that but there's going to be other people that are more like business investors that are 
putting a lot of their own personal skin into these games. And those are the people that I believe are going to be doing this as a full-time business. They could, you know, they could incorporate it into a Twitch streaming business. If they're playing Alluvium all day long, if they've got Alluvium Zero land generating resources, why not further that process of monetization by covering that on your own personal YouTube channel and Twitch channel? So I think that there's going to be a whole um, spring of activity, opportunities, and possibilities around these AAA planar blockchain games that are yet to come. Now, I believe Alluvium Zero is the highest quality game that is going to be released in the short term. Uh, games like Mirandus and Star Atlas, I believe, are much further out in development. I could be wrong, but I'm very, very excited, guys. And the land sells tomorrow. So the land that we're going to be buying is actual land plots from Alluvium Zero. So the land is going to produce resources. These will be like hydrogen, carbon, silicon, solon, Hyperion, and Krypton. Uh, the Krypton, Hyperion, and Solon are types of fuels. And then the these are the elements. So these various things um, are going to be produced on the land. And depending upon what land tier you have and the random um, NFT that you get will depend on what resources you do have. So now on these lands, there actually is going to be the ability to begin building structures. All right. These buildings are going to have an element and fuel cost and a construction time. Now, the purpose of these buildings is going to be adding utility to your land, which will be done over time. You can add buildings like a nexus, an engineering workshop, material labs, exoparticle labs, zero point transducers, hydrogen pumps, sediment excavators, miners, condensator plants, and more guys. So this is going to be, so Alluvium Zero is not going to be just having this piece of land that generates fuel. This is going to be a nice uh, game for those of us that like to do that kind of town and farming style game where you're building a city and, you, and then you're kind of beginning to mine the resources from what you've built. So this is gonna be really dope. And the cool thing is they're building an ecosystem that's going to rely on itself. So all the players are going to need these elements to adequately adventure the land of Alluvium to capture those Alluvials so that they can begin building their team or selling those Alluvials on the market. So this land is a very big, and very important component of Alluvium going forward. And in fact, so Alluvium, obviously it's going to be their namesake flagship game, but the creators have also said they're not going to stop building. And they're saying that any future games built um, from the Illuvium brand are going to also utilize the resources that are developed and produced on the Illuvium Zero properties. All right, guys, so that's why you want to buy the Illuvium land. How do you buy the Illuvium land? Well, first of all, you gotta have a MetaMask wallet. If you're watching this video and you're interested in buying Illuvium land, I'm going to feel pretty confident that 98% of you will already have and be familiar with a MetaMask wallet. But in case you're not, I'll put this link right here from the Alluvial Master that does have a MetaMask manual in the description below. Now, the next part might be where you need a little help, and that is going to be connecting that existing MetaMask wallet that you're used to to the Immutable X marketplace. So if you don't know, Alluvium is going to be launching on Immutable X, which is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum that focuses 100% on NFTs and gaming. So this will allow Alluvium to have the security and the scalability of the Ethereum network, but it will also have the speed and low cost transactions of that scalable layer two solution that the Immutable X blockchain has built with their IMX blockchain. So this is a really great partnership and uh, there's a lot of reasons to be excited. So what you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to link your Alluvium IMX wallet to your MetaMask wallet. And that is because when you buy this land, you are going to receive it on the IMX blockchain. And that's why you need that Immutable X wallet. But you're going to be paying for this land with your um, with your MetaMask wallet as normal. But then the, what you, the NFT you receive in return is going to be on the IMX blockchain. So you can buy this land uh, either using Ethereum in your MetaMask wallet or the SILV2 um, ecosystem token. There's other videos on SILV2. If you're not familiar with that token, this is not what this video is about, but it is another option for buying land. Do your own research on the SILV token. 
if you want to know more about that. So I am going to link this guide in the description of this video. So I definitely recommend you opening it up so that you can connect your MetaMask wallet to the IMX network. So this guide will show you how to create a wallet. So a wallet is a secure and safe place to store your digital items and tokens. If you're looking to collect Alluvium NFTs like land from Alluvium Zero and Alluvials in the overworld, you will need a wallet. While there are many different types of wallets that you can use with Immutable X, we recommend using MetaMask as they are compatible with both the Alluvidex and Immutable X. If you'd like to learn more about setting this up, uh, then they have a link to that thing I just showed you right here. All right, guys, so how do you connect your MetaMask wallet to the Immutable X blockchain? So in order to buy and sell on the Alluvidex, you will need to connect your MetaMask or Ethereum wallet to both the Alluvidex and Immutable X. When you navigate to the Immutable X website, the first thing you'll want to do is click on the Start Trading button so you can enter the proper zone. Next, in the upper right hand corner, you will want to click the Connect Wallet button. This will open up a window where you can choose to connect your MetaMask account, a MetaMask hardware wallet, or a Magic Wallet, and you can create a new Magic Wallet. Clicking on the MetaMask wallet, they will then prompt you to choose which account you'd like to connect to Immutable X and ask you to verify the actions of the site uh, is allowed to take. Always make sure to review what you are agreeing to carefully. In this case, they are asking permission to see the wallet address, account balances, activity to suggest transactions for you to approve. Once you've connected your wallet, you will need to set up an Immutable X key. When engaging with the Immutable X marketplace, you will need to sign off on transactions to authorize them and confirm your identity as an additional form of security. An Immutable X key acts as a digital signature and allows the Immutable X link to work as an extension of your Ethereum wallet. The key will be permanently linked to whichever Ethereum wallet account you have selected. So if you wish to use another wallet or account within a wallet later, you will need to create another Immutable X key. This is a very easy, straightforward process that is described in this uh, link, which I am gonna put in the description below. All right, guys, I wanted to make this video short and sweet. It's basically a big slap in the face reminder. If you forgot, the Alluvium land sale is tomorrow. I'm very excited at the idea that I might be able to get some of this land a lot cheaper than I would have a couple of months ago when the planner and gaming sentiment was much higher. Because even though the sentiment to, for planner and gaming is low in the public, for me personally, it's as high as ever. So my conviction's high, the masses conviction's low. That's a recipe for success in my book. And I want to get this land for cheap. And I'm super, super bullish on Immutable X. I'm super bullish on Alluvium. And I want to stack these Alluvials. I want to stack ILV token. I want to stack these resources. We're going to be a king in this Alluvium metaverse, baby. If you haven't done it already, subscribe, tap the bell. We'll catch you on the next one.